Dunkin' Donuts got Fuller's order wrong, so we're stopped here as he goes inside to to correct it. It's the first time I've ever gotten out and gone back in. Did they apologize to you for getting she it wrong? She was very sweet, very nice. Very good, because it's 5.20 it, yeah. in the morning. It's, I mean, it's you, early. Exactly. I'm like, grace about. I'm using Helix for everything again. Maybe next week or the next time I play electric guitar, I'll use the Kemper for the amps. Uh, this week I'm playing just guitar. I'm using the uh, the Sir Alt T, which is a new guitar for me. Check this out. Let me give you a, like a cinematic movie shot here. Brian, <laughs> you tell me. I love Yamaha, but sometimes. I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. What happens so, when you push that button? <laughs> you go out, your pastor's wrapping up, you go out, you're gonna play some really inspiring stuff, gonna move people, but then your fingers are a little too out just, of place or whatever. Patch, you yeah. accidentally hit this button that's right here and you do this instead. <laughs> I'm going through and I'm saving this patch. Yes? to every single preset. Well, I thought I had done this, but then I realized we replaced this keyboard, and um, I, I believe the person that was supposed to go back and do this was none other than Tim Frisbee. Tim Frisbee! What's up, people? So today is, many of y'all know, today is my last Sunday for six weeks. And I was thinking, uh, there's nothing like a good rest. You just made the cut. Yes. You're in it twice. This is Jesse, everybody. How do you spell your name? Without the S S E. You know, like the Bible. Like in the it was, Bible. It was spelled that way first. Is this the, this is the feminine spelling of yeah. Jesse? I'm, for all intents and purposes, film and media director. There you go. So that means Jesse knows more about this stuff. I know some stuff. Than I do. We're potentially about to create a sweet drone montage. Let's roll it. To the sky, Brian. To the sky. We're talking Sabbath today. Yep. It's Fuller's last Sunday for like six weeks. Mm -hmm. So when do you Sabbath? Sabbath on Fridays. I love to just like go in my music room and write music oh, or yeah. like hook up stuff or yeah. you know look at videos. That, that just gives me life and enjoyment. And what would you say to encourage people who maybe work uh, you know, a job full time and, and volunteer worship lead, maybe like, I don't have time to do this. What would you say? Yeah, I would say just like you work for your job or volunteer or wherever you uh, find yourself throughout the week, work to protect your Sabbath. Like, there oftentimes we think that resting in the Sabbath is just a given, and sometimes yeah. you just have to intentionally work to protect it. For me, I have this six in one idea. There's a pastor in, I believe, Australia called, his name is Mark Sayers. Okay. Uh, and his church talked about the Sabbath and how we work from the one, not for the one. Uh -huh. So yeah. you have to prepare during the six to be able to yeah. and so see you, what that you, looks like. Yeah, you become filled yep. in your time with the Lord. Gotcha. Yeah. That's, that's, that's good. good. I like that. May I have a venti, sugar-free sugar vanilla latte yep. with whole milk Okay. and an extra shot. Let's make it a quad shot. A quad shot? Pastor Dave returns from the Great White North. That would be our Wake Forest campus. Lasers, haze, walls of subs for days. I'm so yeah. offended. People got so mad at you. Well, maybe if you got the subtitle right, Brian, got the, the font right, about, about with the, the disclaimer. Yeah, was that the pirates? That was supposed to explain haze. to everybody that I was being totally sarcastic and didn't mean a word of that. Just be authentic, lead people, build relationships. 
create an engaging okay. student environment. Let me show you how you to do this. Totally redeem yourself. Let me show you how to do these videos, Dave. Ask me any question, Brian. Do you think Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus evolution? Christ? Do you understand? Jesus the is the Messiah. The you are a sinner. So what you're saying is the Jesus is, is the, the answer, answer to everything. That's right. Yeah. Except we, for the question of student ministry, apparently. To, Dave's such a heretic. You call my name. and then we lock it over here in this cabinet and we say, but it's not for you yet. And here's what we do in the church. Either we avoid the topic altogether or the only thing we say about it is, don't do it. Don't do it. Biggest concern wasn't that this was a popular saying. Paul had taught them about grace, about the gospel of God. Fuller, give us a, a brief review of the Shelton Skyflight. This is an amazing guitar. I enjoyed uh, playing it today. I enjoyed shredding on it. Uh, some pretty complex electronics. At the end. It's good stuff. Feels great. It's not too heavy for a Strat, but you I love what? it. Shelton makes great guitars. I am getting ready to start my sabbatical. Sabbatical. In about two hours. For how long? Six weeks. So do you have some advice about, about how to observe? Because the Bible tells us to keep the Sabbath holy. Yeah. So first off, I'm super thankful and grateful to be at a church that uh, offers a sabbatical to pastors. Uh, you know, it's the biblical pattern of every seven years taking a break, and so that's what it is. I've been here seven years, actually almost eight. I'm a little late on my sabbatical, but because uh, I'm trying to take it during an off season. So uh, <clears throat> I'm really thankful to be a part of a church that honors that. Thankful for Pastor Benji's vision for that um, to honor uh, the pastors that are working hard. We have to find a rhythm of rest in everyday life. We have to find a rhythm of the sabbatical. And um, I think that for a lot of us, we run so hard and so fast. And for a lot of you guys watching this, you have full-time jobs and you serve at your church as a volunteer. And so there's this, um, it's easy to get to the place where you feel like you can't take any time. You, you don't have the luxury. And the reality is that's a lie. Um, you have to put down stakes in the ground, you have to put down boundaries in your life that says, you know what, I'm gonna honor this biblical principle. It's, it's, it's a very important, it's one of the Ten Commandments. And so the, the just mentally approaching it and spiritually approaching it from the perspective that, that rest is important and uh, figuring out how you can come, come up with the rhythm in your life to make sure you're getting rest on a weekly basis. I wanted to read the scripture because I, as I was thinking, a lot of people have been asking me, what are you gonna do during your sabbatical, you know, and, and all of this stuff. And the reality is, I'm gonna spend a lot of time with my family. I'm gonna spend uh, some time working on some projects, projects at the house and some musical projects and stuff. I'm not like gonna stop doing everything, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take some time to reflect personally on this past season of my life and what this next season is. I think when you're resting, you need to kind of be thinking ahead about what, what God wants to do in you now so that you can go into this next season. Psalm 121 says this, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And while it's great to rest, while it's great to take breaks, the reality is our help comes from Jesus. Our help comes from God. And so we need to lean on him every day. No amount of rest that I could sleep every day for the next six weeks. But if I'm not seeking God and I'm not asking God to pour into me, it's not gonna be a Sabbath. And so I think the most important thing is to stay focused on Jesus and to st keep our eyes on him because he is where our help comes from. Rest is great, but the reality at the end of the day, we gotta lean on Jesus. Sabbatical break. I love this verse. I'm gonna close with this one. Everybody say goodbye. You're not gonna see him for a long time. Hey, I want to encourage you guys today by letting you know that even the best worship leaders screw up. 
a lot because LA totally botched the first version we did of Oh Come to the Altar. He didn't follow the click. He just went on to his own thing and just was, whatever he felt I like was doing. Flowing in the he was flowing in the spirit. Yeah, but the rest of us had no idea. <laughs> Next time we do that, can you tell us where the spirit's taking you so yeah. we can come along? <laughs>